The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Hello everybody, this is Captain Dennis with Squalus Marine Divers. Today we're heading all the way up by the Bridgeport train station in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We're going to go check out some of the only shipwrecks in Connecticut that are listed on the National Register of Historical Places. We had to get special permission from the state of Connecticut to do this dive, but it was strictly on a look but don't touch and don't disturb basis. So we're just here to film and document. Now there are three barges that are sunk here uh, the Berkshire number no. seven the Priscilla Daly and the Elmer S Daly now these barges range from 1935 to 1915 and the reason they're important is because these are the last remaining Erie Canal boats in the country and they're in Bridgeport Connecticut we're only going to be diving on one of the boats today I'm not sure which one it is But as you can see, it's really important to have a video documentation done before these deteriorate any further. It's nice to have some kind of a record. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the stern of one of the boats. And as we get up to the deck, you can see on the left-hand side is a little blackfish there, or a tautog. That's made this wreck its home. You can see all kinds of electrical lines, and I don't know if these were tow lines or just dock lines. But right now we're on the uh, aft port side, and we're going to head across the middle of the ship and make our way to the starboard gunnel you can see these lines these are all fishing lines normally fishing lines in the ocean are gone because of the amount of wave action and turbulence but where this ship is it's really really protected now we're on the starboard gunnel we're going to look in the center as we move forward. Again, these, uh, these fishing lines are a bit of a hazard. But it's evidence that nobody's been here, which is a good thing. As we get to the midship, we come across this. I'm pretty sure is the ship's winch or capstan or it may even be hey, this might have been a motorized barge or the propulsion altogether here you can see the capstan I have a big cleat here we'll come back to that and here you can see that it is a fishing site and because it's a no touch, just look, I'm not going to touch any of this fishing stuff either. You 
can see that this is substantially deteriorated. Get closer to the bow. Here's another one of the large cleats. And there's some line that may have been tied to it at one time. And this I thought was another capstan, but looking at it now, I think it's toe bits or H bits. And this, unless this is a stern, but this could be, this is definitely one end of the ship. And you can see that Erie Canal rounded front. And again, this barge is not floating away anytime soon. There is not much left to her. Now we're going to go back the way we came, and this is another one of the giant cleats. This might be a plate, and you can see there's a ladder here as well. Now, all this draped over the side is fire hose, or some kind of hose, but I think it's fire hose. And this is down in the center of the ship, a ladder. And this thing right here, I couldn't make it out, but either this is a cabinet or a door, but you can see this ornate hinge, which I think is brass with that green color. Again, you can see how much of a hazard the fishing lines are and how many there are. It's kind of like spider webs. Now we're heading up on uh, what I believe to be the port side. At the turn of the century, the commercial boat traffic that came in and out Bridgeport Harbor was considerable. You have to remember that back then the waterways were pretty much the highways and that was the primary way to move equipment or material and these boats played a big part in that time. So we move back into the center of the boat we come across the winch or capstan again. This is it from the other side. There's another small piece of piping. And over here, I'm not sure what this box is, but it looks like it's got a hatch and it's got these valve handles. And more fishing line. start heading back towards the transom. I'd like to say thank you to the state for giving me permission and the pleasure to dive this unusual site. And here you can see, which I'm pretty sure is a plate, but this is a hands-off dive, so we'll never know. Thanks so much for coming on another dive with us today. We encourage you to visit us at squallsmarine.com and you can find us on Facebook under Squalls Marine Divers. If you'd like to know more about the barges, you can check out the link below. And until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.